What's going on guys? It is Cody. Um, about to go into uh, Home Depot there. I want to encourage you all when you're going to grocery stores, <clears throat> when you're going to uh, the gym, when you're going to restaurants, are you going for you or for Jesus? And I know when I say that, you're like, dude, Jesus doesn't need milk this week. I need milk this week. I, I, I get that. But what I, what I mean is when you're going to the store, we're, we've been crucified with Christ. No longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. We are on a mission as Christians and my grocery store trips are no longer my grocery store trips anymore, but rather they're Jesus's trips uh, and they're missionary trips. So just like when people go to Mexico and Honduras and Peru, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm just going into my local grocery store. Only difference is I can build a relationship where I can actually end up discipling one of these people from the conversation that we end up having. So my point is, is to say, yes, go get your groceries, but the purpose isn't for groceries. The purpose is for God's glory to be shown. And you're more than welcome to get groceries in the process. But remember, the Holy Spirit is with you wherever you are. Wherever you're going, the Holy Spirit is there with you. And why would you leave him in the car when you go into the store? Right now, literally, obviously, it's not how it works. Christ is actually in us, the hope of glory. So the Holy Spirit's actually inside of you. But the point that I'm getting at is... I'm going into the store and I'm not going to leave Jesus out in the car with me. Jesus is going to show up in that store. I don't know who, I don't know when, I don't know how many, but I know he's going to show up in that store because he wants to show up in that store. So just as an encouragement for you guys, this is one of the ways that you can live Christian everywhere you go. And guess what? If there's a really long line, <clears throat> I'm in Home Depot. I'm in maybe one of a dozen parking spots that are even open. And there's hundreds of parking spots here. Maybe a dozen are open. My point in saying that is to say, you, you have no idea how short-tempered Christians are and upset and irritated they get. Oh my gosh, can you believe this line? It's right now 11.06 on a Saturday morning. What about talking to the person in front of you about Jesus? What about being the light of the world? What about being filled with a joy that's unspeakable and having a peace that surpasses all comprehension in that moment? It's easy to be full of joy in a joyful scenario. How about that one? It sucks to be in a 30-minute line. Are you still Jesus? Are you still the light of the world? Or did you put the basket over your head as a Christian because you were not uh, desiring whatever the scenario was. Guys, do not let whatever the stuff is, the self in our lives get in the way of us making an impact in somebody else's life right next to us. Bless y'all.